What's up guys? It's CJ Reptiles. We're back with another video. Um, as you tell by the title, uh, I have a few snakes in shed and I'm going to soak a few snakes and I'm also going to be showing you a feeding video of feeding my alligator because uh, I do something interesting in that video. I make a pop in my mouth like and um, that's something that you do with crocodilians to teach them when you want them to eat. Uh, after a few months of that, you'll see how making that noise makes them come up right up out of the water with that mouth open and ready to eat. It also tells them that it's time to eat, not time to get taken out or played with. Because if they think that you're always eating every time you go to touch them, what do you think is going to happen when you have to move them or you have to do any sort of... Uh, checking on them or maintenance, and then they think it's feeding time, you get bit as bad. So you have to teach them when it's feeding time and when it's not. So otherwise, um, I just have two snakes, three snakes to soak. Two of them are not for shedding purposes, but I'll explain that to you during that. And then one of them is for shedding purposes. It's winter time and it gets dry in my reptile room, but I'm sure this is all boring for you, so let's get right into it. All right, and we're back. Here is the list of snakes being soaked. I just got done preparing the water and putting the snakes in. So here they are. First up, we have a normal ball python who um, just had a rough shed. Next up, we have my gaboon viper, young. Sorry, it's pretty foggy, but I'll take better video when I take them out. Um, now, with Bittus species, which is like rhino viper, gaboon viper, puff adder, that's bittus. With the bittus species, they hold their poop uh, as long as possible. They like to have leverage when they strike. Sounds crazy, but they're pretty smart. They keep their poop as leverage for striking forward to keep some of themselves on the ground. So if you don't soak them, some will, I've seen some that do uh, defecate in their cage by themselves, but some of them need to be soaked. So. I'm just giving these guys a soak just for a little bit, see if they uh, defecate. And next is my rhino. Um, now this is a double purpose. This snake um, has a little bit of stuck shed on its head from when I got it, and also the same reason as the defecation purpose, just like I mentioned. So we're gonna see how that goes, and that's that. I'll show you guys when I take them all out and how everything went. Now until then, I will feed my Gila monster uh, a raw quail egg, so hopefully you guys enjoy that, and here it is. Alright guys, here is the Gila monster, um, worrying about defending itself against me more than is the egg, but we're going to change that. Here you go, it's an egg, oh there you go. I do not limit my Gila monster's diet to raw eggs. Uh, this is a treat. They need, um, as at this size, a baby. They need two pinkies or fuzzies. Well, two basically appropriate sized rodents twice a week. With this, I supplement this once a week or once every two weeks. And as they get bigger, they can be fed once a week, sometimes once every two weeks, so on and so forth. But right now, he gets an egg. Um, I don't use chick- you can use chicken eggs, I, I suppose, but I do not use chicken eggs because the chance of salmonella is way less with these quail eggs. So just a small quail egg. You can find them anywhere at your local super supermarket, and these guys love them. So he'll just proceed to whip this up. And, yep. Just hope you guys enjoy the short clip. All right, so I'm getting stuff out of soap right now. I'm gonna start with the ball python. This guy has some stuck shed that I'm gonna try to work off. And I would love to do this on camera, but I don't have a something to set my camera up. So I'm gonna do as much as I can off camera, and then I'll just finish the rest. I mean, I'm gonna do as much as I can on camera and finish the rest off camera. But just a normal female ball python. 
I'm not really into ball pythons too much. That's why I only have two. I have this and an albino. So I'm not into them so much to be buying newer morphs and breeding. But I do want to try one thing since I already have an albino and a normal. I want to breed my own albinos. Uh, this one's almost the breeding size, but my albino male is not. So basically what will end up happening is I'll have to breed this to my albino male. And I'll, all the babies will be 100% het albino and breed one of them back to dad. And then I should get albino babies. So I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera and we'll get back to taking the bitus out of soak. All right. All right. Well, I ended up not having luck on the bitus defecating. Probably just not ready. We'll try again in a little bit. But here's my gaboon. And I'll show you the rhino in a bit. See, this is the American alligator, and I make that noise so it knows that when it hears that noise, it's time to feed. That, that, that's good for when it gets bigger. It knows to come up out of the water when it's time to eat. I make that noise, it hears it, and it comes up to eat. And I will keep doing that to train it so whenever it hears that noise, it knows it's time to eat. And if you notice, after it's done eating, it puts its head up and out of the water to swallow it. Crocodilians cannot swallow their food under the water because water will rush in. That is why they have that valve in the back of their mouth to keep water out while they're underwater. But to swallow food and open that valve, they need to be out of the water. Watch, you'll see it now. He'll lift his head up and swallow. Head comes out of the water and it's gone. All right. Alright guys, I do not know what happened there. I thought I recorded taking the Rhino Viper out of its soak, but apparently I did not. So, um, yeah. So basically that's it. I soaked a few things, took some shed off the ball python. Um, everybody's good. Got a little bit of the shed off the Rhino's head, so that's better. Um, so yeah, so basically stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading Hopefully tomorrow or the day after I have something to talk about. Remember, give away at 1,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. And also comment. Let me know what you guys want to see more of, if you like this video or if not. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, I also hope you guys enjoyed that video of the gator. Um, it was a voiceover, so I know it wasn't too great. But, you know, you guys hopefully got the point. And that's really it. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.